Sorry, hello friends, I'm Mr. Jok Nama Kanto. Today we are going to talk about tires. Now, tires are actually used in every kind of transportation. Including aircraft, you need to land with, well, something. Not just like, land inside water, no. That's going to be a very expensive mistake. Even in, what, the transportation of rocket parts. You actually need to assemble the rocket first. And you need tires to, you know, send it. To assemble it. So yes, technically, tires are used in every kind of transportation. If you try to drive without one using a car, you will only be left with the rim, and it's going to be really bumpy and dangerous. Now, we are going to talk about sealing the tires. Actually, sealing and sealing and patching. Now. This one, it has no seal. You don't. I, there is no seal in this one. You, of course, the patch is this. Where it is? Ah, here it is. This is the patch. You may notice that. Well, there is no seal in it. Now, with like with a patch, only a patch like this, it, it the air can still leak out from the gaps between the patch and, well, the rubber. Not really rubber, is it? It's polyester, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's poly polyester or nylon. Because the materials are listed, is it in the tire? Ah, here it is. Face. Great one, the... Poly one polyester, two steel, and one nylon. I mean, it's probably nylon here. And then, now, you, this is only for emergency. You only patch it like, like this. It's only for emergencies. You need to drive to the place that you want to go or just go back home or not to a safe place in general. You can just use this. You First, you need to drill. You need to drill into the inside of the tire and then you put the patch. No, I forget something. You need to glue it. You need to glue it. You need to glue it and then put the patch and then pull, pull the patch. So you know you can stick because of the glue. Now this one, it has a seal. You need to use a good seal for that. So that the air cannot just well, leak out. This can last well the lifetime of the tire. Unless and unless you get a nail again near the same place or worse in the exact same spot. Now you need to discard the tire and replace it. Because now it's useless. And yeah. Oh, that was too much. So yeah. Now, since if there is a puncture in the tire, the steel will be broken. The steel mesh. If you look at here again, oh, I need to flip it. Oh, never mind. There's already one here. If you flip, if you see this, it says one polyester, two steel, and one nylon. Now, if you get a puncture, steel mesh will probably get broken, mostly at least. And yeah, it's it means that the inside is broken, and and that a patch will not really solve the problem and make it go. Oh, flash time! No. You need to actually have the patch stay in place, seal it so that the air could not just go out. And yeah, that's meaning that if you have a puncture in the tire, it's never really like fully repaired because of the steel mesh being broken due to the puncture of a rock or a nail or a wood piece or glass. 
Oh, that I'm thinking about it, there's a lot of dangers in the road. <laughs> like, on the road itself. The snails, probably, if you're near a construction site, wood, maybe, near a construction site again. Clocks, everywhere, so long as can be near a construction site, can be near potholes, and a lot more. Now, you might notice, there is this hole, right? Not really a hole. It's more to a shredded piece of fire right here near the side wall. It's, it's near the side wall, but not really on the side wall. Like this one. Don't see it. I think it's around here. I think it's around uh, here, I guess. I cannot really see it. Because you know it's on your side. So. Yeah, it can be because of the tire is being old, or it just got, well, shredded by a piece of rock. Sharp rock. So, yeah. That's not really good. I suggest on... You know, bring a patch on your car, or fill the tire with... Well, the substance that immediately dries when it touches air. Yes, some tires do have that because you because the owner just oh fill it up. Or of course it could just be put by the manufacturers in the in the tire and possibly because but their standard to do that. It just me the chemical immediately like cures, just dries. And in this situation, yeah, if I cannot show you because the chemical just dries if I open the tire. It just immediately dries. And thus I cannot show you because it just immediately dries and you can notice like if I open and then there might be a single frame. However, a single frame is 0 0.03 seconds, I think. <laughs> 0 0.03 seconds is quick. And plus, it might, the reaction might go faster than that, might go faster like 0 0.01 seconds. And which it won't be captured in the frame. And yeah. So. And there is a variant of tires. In which way? Is this tubeless or tubed? Yep, tubeless. It is tubeless. You can see this. Tubeless. That just means that if you get punctured, you can still drive on it. However, on very low speeds. And you need to be really careful. And I would not recommend driving on it. Like, I would still never recommend driving on a tubeless tire. A pierced tubeless tire. Now, this tire can run up to 80 kilometers per hour, not really run immediately 80 kilometers, it's just the distance, not the speed. The distance can reach up to 80 kilometers and can run around 30 kilometers per hour or 40 kilometers per hour. I would still recommend driving under that though. And yeah, the tubeless, the tubeless tire, this can run flat, just up to 80 kilometers, not like 100 kilometers or 1000 kilometers. So yeah, I suppose that is it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.